What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. Please note that this tutorial takes place in DaVinci Resolve version 15 and this tutorial does also contain some audio clips with a very low volume which you may not be able to hear on low volume output settings on your computer. I will indicate these sections with a grey background and white text so that you can see which section contains low level audio. What if you ever recorded a video that you wish to edit in DaVinci Resolve and the volume of the recorded sound is very low? As you can see on my current timeline, I have one individual edit which contains both video and audio segments. As you can also see, the audio segment appears on the Audio 1 track. If you go to left click once on the Fairlight tab, a new window should open which will show all audio tracks and edits that you currently have on your project's timeline. The audio track from my edit which you just saw is clearly indicated here in the middle on the timeline window in Fairlight which I can refer to using the Audio 1 label here. What you should also see in this window is the mixer which shows the decibel levels for each of your audio tracks. A2 was an empty audio track M1 on the other hand basically represents the master audio track which represents the overall volume level throughout your timeline for all edits. Decibel is the unit of measurement given to the intensity of sound. At present A1 is set to minus 10 as it is with A2 and M1. Since the audio for my edit is in A1 if I increase this all the way up by 10 and the volume of the recorded sound is very low you can hear how the volume level has increased slightly, although still lacks significant intensity. And now increase the level in M1 to plus 10 also. And the volume of the recorded sound is very low. The volume of the actual video clip becomes significantly higher. Bear in mind that increasing the volume level on the Audio 1 track will affect all other edits on your particular timeline. If you are working in a DaVinci Resolve project with multiple edits, such as the low recording edit here and the fireworks edit, it is recommended that you have each audio segment on its own individual audio track. So both audio segments from low recording and fireworks currently are in audio track A1. If I go to my linked selection button, which I've also covered in more detail in a previous tutorial on this channel, if I left click this, so it is now deactivated as you can tell since it is no longer highlighted in white. If I left click off this edit so that it is no longer highlighted in red and left click once on the green audio element of the fireworks edit you can see here with the red outline that I have selected this by itself and not the visual element. If I left click on this again hold my mouse button down and drag this downwards I've now moved this to audio track number two, which if I go back to the Fairlight window again, I can modify on a separate level to that of A1. There is significantly more sound wave representation in light green on the firework clip than there is in the low recording edit, as the volume level for the fireworks edit by default is much louder than that from my first edit and therefore increasing the master level may make the initial low level recording edit more audible. However, it may make the sound from the fireworks clip too loud. Therefore, if you are using the Fairlight technique to increase the volume of a low level audio file, it is recommended that you edit this alone in an individual DaVinci Resolve project, rather than using this technique when you have multiple edits inside a DaVinci Resolve project. Once you have increased the volume, then you can use the deliver option to export this file as an MP4, which you can then use in other projects which contain similar audio intensities. There is another technique which you can use to increase the volume of a particular audio file inside your DaVinci Resolve project. Before we do this, I'm going to return to Fairlight and bring A1 and M1 back down to decibel level minus 10. which were the default settings in this project. Go back to edit, 
select the selection mode option. You can also do this by pressing A. Left click once on the relevant media edits that you have on your timeline so that it is highlighted with a red outline like so. Go to your inspector window, go to audio and increase the volume number. By default this particular edit's audio level is set to zero. I'm going to increase this level to 30, its maximum value. When I preview the edit once again, and the volume of the recorded sound is very low, you can hear that the volume level has increased significantly. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.